Hello everybody, it's Erin. I am back with another video. I'm gonna talk about some mindset, some nutrition, and a workout. So mindset, this is actually going to incorporate the nutrition today as well. So I'm gonna have technically two talks. First one is gonna be mental, the second one is going to be about like the actual workout that I'm gonna give you. Getting uncomfortable. Do you do something every day that makes you somewhat uncomfortable? Because we all have heard it a million times. Staying comfortable, being comfortable does not help you grow, right? So if you apply this to, say, you're working out, you know, if you're just doing the same reps, the same weight all of the time, you're probably not getting uncomfortable. You're probably not going to grow, all right? That being said, also for the people who are wanting to start a workout program or get started on living a healthier lifestyle, You've got to take the plunge. You've got to do something difficult, something uncomfortable to get yourself into that routine. So if that means that now you've got to wake up at 5 a.m. to get it in your day because the rest of your day is packed and it sucks to get up at five in the beginning and it sucks to work out at six in the beginning. But before you know it, all of a sudden, it's not something that sucks or that you dread. It's something you look forward to. So what I am saying is if it's related to you getting started on a fitness journey and you can't figure out how, why, what, when, where, whatever, think about, I'm going to have to do something uncomfortable, right? If nothing changes, nothing changes. All right. Food, same thing. Some people don't like fruits and vegetables. Some people don't really want to drink their water. Okay, so we're just going to sit here comfortable, drink our coffee all day that we love. I, I love coffee, don't get me wrong. Um, not eat our fruits and vegetables because eh, that's hard work. It's hard work to prep the stuff. It's hard work to sometimes like actually, for some people, eat it because they don't love it. But are you growing? Are you getting anywhere? Are you achieving your goals? It's going to be harder, right? So you've sometimes got to make those decisions, make those choices to change to grow right? You've got to get a little bit uncomfortable. So, you know, drinking like liters of water a day can be uncomfortable in the beginning because I mean, it's a lot of work to go to the bathroom all the time to accommodate that much drinking of water that will get better. But in the beginning, it's going to be uncomfortable, but you know what? You're going to be that much better for it. Right? So same with your food, you know, like, yeah, we'd all rather just grab something that's quick and easy. Uh, if that's, not, if that's easy, it's comfortable, right? But if you take a moment to make a choice that, you know, I'm going to take an extra half hour to prep some food, to cut up some fruits and veggies, I'm going to like, I'm going to learn because you can learn to do things that you don't love. I'm going to learn to love the broccoli. I'm going to learn to love the kale. If you want it, you'll get it right. So just saying, take some moments in your day, be uncomfortable and you will grow. You will get so much better from it. All right. That is my mindset and nutrition talk all in one, okay? The workout, I'm going to give you a Tabata, okay? Tabata is usually actually a fan favorite. It's a little bit of suck, so you're going to get to get uncomfortable here, but it's also, it's a really short and quick way to get a good workout in, okay? So Tabata, the basis of a Tabata is 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest, eight rounds. Okay. So I'm going to give you four exercises. So the first one is going to be squat jumps. I'm just going to use this as your example. You're going to set your interval timer for eight rounds, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. You're going to do your squat jumps eight times. Okay. 20 on 10 off before you're going on to the next thing. You can have that little bit of rest in between each movement. Okay. So Tabata, if you need to Google it, it'll help explain it to you and explain how, when you're on that work, you're going hard on the 20 seconds and then the 10 seconds is, is a rest. So I'm going to show you the exercises. We'll get right to it. It's not going to take you a long time. One full to bat around of, of eight times, 20 on 10 off is only four minutes. Okay. And there's four exercises. So you can get this workout done in 16 minutes, little bits of rest in between. So a little bit longer squat jumps. All right. I think we've been there, seen these, but you're going to jump and you're going to land in your squat. All right. If you feel like that's too much for you, do just a squat. No big deal. All right. Then we've got push-ups. So you are down. If you like to do push-ups from your knees, toes does not matter. As long as you've got a nice stacked position, as long as you've got your back nice and nice and tight, nice and strong, you don't have your arms way out to your side. You're dropping that chest down, keeping your neck straight with your back. 
your core is nice and tight, your bum is also in line with your back. All right? Then we've got split squat. So this one you're going to alternate. 20 seconds doing one side like this. You can hold weights if you like here. And then the next 20 seconds after you rested, you're going to do the other side. So hold weights here, hold weight here, whatever you like. All right? Last one you've got, you're back down on the floor for plank jacks. So you're going to be that nice plank. Again, your back is turned on so we're not rounded and letting our hands go out forward. Our hands are underneath our shoulders. We're screwing our wrists into the ground to kind of turn on our back. And we are jacking. All right? To that, and my friends, let me know how you feel about that workout. I love to hear feedback. It is a goodie. Won't take you long. Also, if you're still searching, wondering where, how, when am I going to get my workouts in? I need help. Whatever. I still am doing Zoom workouts. Um, now it, we can do in-person training outside. So I'm also doing some of that. So if any of those things interest you, please reach out. I would love to help you. I would love to chat. Have a great day. Bye.